You are listening to the It's Your Time podcast, and I'm your host, Certified Life Coach Michelle Arnold Burke. In today's episode, I'm sharing another Multiply Your Impact series and a recent conversation with Christy Brown, Senior District Manager at Medtronic, and she is discussing the amazing work she's doing and helping to progress childhood cancer research. Welcome to the It's Your Time podcast, the podcast where busy professionals like you get the practical solutions and support you need to gain control of your schedule so you can strive to be the best in your career, but without the stress and overwhelm. If you're looking to increase your energy and decrease your stress, you are in the right place. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the podcast, friends. I missed you last week, but the week before, we had a marathon week of podcast for the Mentoring Series program. And now we are back to our normally scheduled programming. And I do just want to say, Mentoring Week was a blast. We had so much fun, and I especially love to see the comments on the guests' LinkedIn pages about how much they have truly influenced the lives of so many people. And if you missed any of the conversations, I highly encourage you to go check out the entire series. Now today, we are jumping back into a special episode for the Multiplier Impact series, and I have to tell you, this woman is amazing. Christy Brown is a senior district manager at Medtronic, and she serves on the board of advisors with her husband, Matt. They are Rally Chicago co-founders and parents of Rally Kid Alexander. The release of this episode is, in fact, on National Childhood Cancer Day, and Christy and Matt are serving as speakers for the first global Oncothon by Onco Daily with Onco Heroes Biosciences. In this conversation, Christy is sharing the story of her strong little guy, Alexander, the amazing work that she is doing around progressing childhood cancer research, why it's important, and how we can all help. Her and her husband's initiatives are not only multiplying impact, they are changing the future for kids and families. So without further ado, please take a listen. Thank you so much for being here. Can you start by introducing yourself in a way that you most like? So thanks so much, Michelle. Um, so I'm Christy Brown. Um, first and foremost, I'm a wife and a mother to two amazing children. Charlotte is 10 and Alexander just turned five. Um, I am a friend, a neighbor. Um, I really, truly love my Medtronic family. I love uh, working for Medtronic and, and Bleed Blue. Um, I have some fantastic in love and parents and um, fun fact, my best friend from seventh grade and I married brothers. So we kept it all in the family and our little girls are just a year apart and our little boys are four months apart in age. Oh my gosh, how fun. That is great. Okay, now this series is the Multiplier Impact Series. And today you are here to talk about a very important cause. So maybe the best place to start might be if you can give us a little background. You mentioned Charlotte and Alexander. So maybe you can talk a little bit about your amazing little guy. Yeah, so Alexander just turned um, five on um, January 10th, which also, fun fact, just happens to be um, our founder Earl Bakken's um, birthday. And he turned 100 this, this past January 10th. Um, so Alexander is just truly a bright, shining light in this world. Um, anything you could want in a little boy. He's smart, so polite, um, so funny, really adventurous, and like never willing, never afraid to take a risk. Um, and he, he just loves to read and adores his sister. I mean, idolizes Charlotte, and he will repeat and do whatever she asks him to, which mm. makes for some interesting times. But um, back, um, <laughs> back on uh, June 4th um, of this past summer, we were on family vacation and our little guy was, I mean, just truly out of nowhere, really minimal symptoms, um, was diagnosed with um, a very high risk type of medulloblastoma, which is uh, pediatric brain cancer. And from there, it is the longest story ever. I'll have to give people, you know, the, the journey that they can read online. Um, but it was just truly um, remarkable how our friends, family, and especially my Medtronic colleagues, and I, I call them my work family because there's there's no line for me anymore, um, came to support and to help us from, you know, uh, leaning in and coming to visit Alexander to helping us get transferred to Atlanta where he had a neurosurgery um, using the Medtronic self-navigation um, uh, uh, device. They have surrounded us with so much love and support, and my my team especially. I 
can't thank them enough um, in coronary and renal innervation, but really across all of Medtronic. So that's kind of the highest level. I could probably tell the story for hours, but um, that's kind of what we experienced um, recently. That's uh, nothing short of a tragedy and nothing any parent should ever experience. No, absolutely. And I know that you and your husband have been very intentional with the work that you are doing. So can you maybe share a little bit about what you're helping to do um, for progressing childhood cancer research? Yes. So um, in Atlanta, um, you know, I remember getting these texts from these people naming different names. I had no idea who they were. Um, and really, they were just kind of the most amazing people that came um, just the day after, literally the day after June 8th, after he had neurosurgery. And they were from Raleigh Foundation. And, um, you know, Chelsea, Reed, Dean, um, we just got to know them so well. And Ch Chelsea got to know the kids. She's a child life specialist with Raleigh. Um, who comes and supports the kids as they understand more and more about what is happening. And frankly, I didn't know what was happening and I learned so much from her as well. Um, so she she and then and Reed came to visit and we got to know Dean a little later on. Um, Amy came to visit and brought us, you know, water bottles and clothes and, you know, just different things, blankets, because we were we were on vacation and we had gone straight from Florida into this just crazy world. Um, and so they really became, they became our um, our family. And we've kept in touch, but what Rally Foundation does is really tries to, um, uh, you know, raise money, raise awareness um, for childhood cancer research, um, and it's it's really incredible the work they do and how they're rated platinum on Guide Star. And um, we have just been committed that we want to raise money for research, but not just for necessarily just for um, childhood brain cancer. Really, no child should ever. Um, face face these types of, of um, situations. I think that's um, obviously so important. And I, and I have a two-part question as follow-up because you do talk about the importance of being a Medtronic employee. So the first part I would say is, why do you think that's so important? And then number two, when we're talking about no child or parent should ever have to face this, what do you suggest for folks that might not have such a support system like you you do? Yeah, I think, you know, a huge benefit of being a Medtronic employee is you know, learning the medical world. Um, and again, I, I'm really fortunate to have worked in a couple of different divisions of Medtronic and have gotten to know a lot of fantastic people. Um, you know, I think reaching out and you know sharing your story can help those people that don't have a support system. But another huge benefit of working for Medtronic that I've I've been passionate about even before diagnosis of Alexander is what we are afforded from a benefit perspective on the um, volunteer and giving website. And I've learned so much even since diagnosis of what we can do, but um, all of our employees um, are eligible for up to a $5,000 match per year to the organization of their choice. And it's really simple to do. There are volunteer grants where you can log your volunteer hours and logging all your hours is, is great so that we know what our Medtronic um, family is doing. And then you can select an organization that those grants um, go towards. There's also um, a website where you can create an event. Um, you can create an event, um, which is, I, I guess, where I'm going next, which I, I just created uh, my first one called Rally on the Runway, where people can um, volunteer and learn more and participate virtually or um, in person. It's going to be um, in Atlanta, and Alexander is going to make his debut. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Absolutely. But I think that's it's such a huge benefit to Medtronic employees that so many people don't don't realize about. Yeah, I think you're right. For the longest time, I didn't realize, number one, maybe I did a little bit realize, but number two, I thought it was much more entailed than what it actually is. Like, it's so easy to actually go and to donate and to get it done. It's not anything that takes hardly any time at all. So I would highly encourage folks to do that. Definitely a lot of options um, for Medtronic employees. There really are, and I'll share another benefit of working for Medtronic that's not necessarily related to philanthropy, but that has been really impactful for me and my family. Um, and I actually learned about it. I didn't know about this resource. Learned about it um, through his his um, daycare. We have a partnership with um, Bright Horizons, um, and his his preschool let me know, hey, because um, we he couldn't go to school and he can't go to school all the time right now while he's in treatment. And um, we have the benefit of backup daycare. We get 15 days per year. Um, where we can pay a copay of ten dollars um, and have backup daycare, um, and there's also an option for in the home. But I know there's a lot of working parents that you know 
something happens or, you know, um, school's called off, but maybe um, preschools are still open. Um, and so that's a fantastic, uh, it's called back, backup child care um, resource that has been so important for Alexander to be able to go to school for the few days a month that he can. Um, and I was just so thankful for my awesome HR uh, business partners to, to help me navigate that and, and sign up for that. And this back to your um, rally on the runway sounds like it's going to be a super fun event. I saw your face kind of light up when you were talking about how he's going to be making his debut. Can you talk a little bit about that and also how folks maybe who are not Medtronic employees, so two parts, how the Medtronic employees can participate and also if you're not a Medtronic employee, how can they help to support? Oh, yes. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Um, we're really excited. So um, the CEO and CEO of Rally um, asked us back in December if Alexander would like to be um, a rally kid on the runway. And so he'll get to walk down the runway at the Georgia Aquarium in Atlanta, um, escorted by professional athletes. So it's really special um, for him. And, you know, some kids are shy. This kid is not shy at all. So I know he will love it. Um, and um, yeah, so there are a lot of ways. So the timing of this podcast is actually really perfect. Um, actually, at midnight is when the challenge um, starts. And so the challenge is just a really fun, friendly competition to raise as much money as we can over the next 10 weeks. And it's pretty strict. It starts and it stops. But there's a lot of ways that people can um, join, um, even as simple as, you know, depending on the bandwidth, as simple as sharing on social media, letting friends and family know about it. They can help us find auction items. They can come and buy a ticket and come in person to see Alexander if they live nearby or want a fun trip to the Georgia Aquarium. It's going to be incredible, an incredible evening. And so there's a lot of, of different ways, you know, depending, and we're just appreciative for anybody that's willing to, to join in and help. And it'll be a great celebration because I know his team is going to definitely win. And there'll be fun photos at the end with the trophy and you know, um, just a celebration that the evening of April 12th. Oh, that's so fun. So from February 1st until, so it's 10 weeks after that, that the competition goes and then yep, April yep. 12th is the event. Mid midnight, um, uh, February 2nd to April 12th. And again, um, I don't know if you're able to share, Michelle, not to put you on the cloud, like links. I have some links that we can share both Medtronic and external um, links to let people know how they can do it. And again, we're appreciative whether it's, you know, $2 being matched just to share on social media, anything really does help because I can tell you, I um, have talked with Matt, my husband, a lot, and we were completely ignorant. I grew up in Tennessee with the name St. Jude, and I had really no idea what St. Jude was, you know, and in a foundation like Rally Foundation that does such incredible work um, and partners with families to help them in the most dire of situations. Um, it's just so, so important. So I am so thankful for you taking the time to, to get to know me a little bit better and, and share his story. Oh, absolutely. And speaking of sharing his story, you had mentioned um, when you were talking about you could go on for hours and talk about it. Where would people go to to kind of learn more about that? Yeah, so there are a couple of different ways. Some people are on Facebook, so I can um, share you his Facebook, um, his Facebook group where we keep updates. I mean, he actually has a website that my, my dear friend purchased and created for him, um, alexanderstrong.org. Um, and then there's a rally page that that has a brief overview of his story and, um, you know, obviously links to the event for Rally on the Runway itself. And you want to talk a little bit about the bumblebee? Oh, the bumblebee. So it's, it's kind of a crazy story. So my grandma was my best friend uh, growing up and she passed away when she was 94, but 25 26 years ago, she'd given me a bumblebee necklace and called me a worker bee, which is kind of the truth, I think. Um, but she got to meet Charlotte. Um, she didn't get the chance to meet Alexander when he was born. And so I bought a little knitted bumblebee outfit um, for his newborn photos. And my friend took pictures in her honor. And so it's just interesting because I, a few years ago, found um, a commencement speech that Earl Bakken had written um, for the University of Hawaii. And it referenced why a bumblebee couldn't fly. And so Alexander being born on Earl Pocken's birthday and the symb symbolism of the bumblebee, both for me and for Earl. And even in the Bakken Museum, I'd taken the kids to the Bakken Museum in, Metro um, in Minneapolis. And there's a section of the gift shop that sells bumblebee items. And I just like, wow, all the world's colliding. Um, I'm just, uh, you know, amazed all the time of the significance that the bee has come to mean to me. Um, and, um, you know, that it was also something that, that spoke to Earl and, 
he is the he is the man that started the company that now provided the um, navigation, the stealth navigation that Alexander had to to get that restoral resection that he had, and that was the first step, um, you know, in his treatment. So, yeah, the bumblebee has a lot of meanings, which are pretty crazy, and I get goosebumps sometimes on on like where I find them. It totally. When you tell the story, I'm like, oh, I have goosebumps. Like they're. <laughs> It's all meant, I believe, in all of that stuff. And and I could totally see how you, how your grandma might think that you're a worker bee because I I am so inspired by you. Like I look at you are on, on LinkedIn. You are always doing the work with all of this going on. So I just want to like hats off to you. You are such an inspiration. Yeah. Well, thank you. I, I couldn't do it without my amazing team. And e even yesterday, I said it was a sign we were going in to negotiate. Um, you know, for simplicity blood pressure procedure with, uh, I was with my rep Erica and we walk in and there, the cafe is the Bumblebee Cafe. And I'm like, Earl and my grandma are here. I was like, we got to take a picture because this means we're going to win. <laughs> so Absolutely. I was really cool. so, um, I couldn't do it without my team. Um, my, my directors, Phil Coppola, my VPs, Carla John, and then everybody on my Midwest team, my colleagues, um, other DMs like Amy Hershey and Hina that came all the way to Memphis when we were at St. Jude to say hi to my son and just to give us hugs. I mean, it's truly remarkable. I know there are so many people, um, Linnea Berman and the neurosurgery team helping us get transferred to Dr. Brahma at CHOA. The list goes on and on. And if I didn't say your name, it's it, there's I, there are so many people who have been there for me and my family, and I am forever grateful. Mm. Have we missed anything? I have another question before we close out, but I want to make sure that we've hit what you wanted to as far as talking about rally and about the event and making sure everybody knows that how much fun it's going to be. Yes, it's going to be fantastic. We are going to raise so much money. Um, and the way I always say it is we're doing everything for Alexander that we can and all we can do is fund the future. And so that's really what is behind mine and Matt's um, passion. And um, we're just really excited and, and something fun to look forward to as he ends this next um, round of treatment and we're exploring a trial, but um, you know, this will this will be a really celebratory event for, for our family. Mm. Okay, before we close out, since this series is about folks that are multiplying their impact in the world and we see all of the amazing work that you are doing, do you think there's a, a who or a what, I guess, in your life that has made some of the biggest impacts for you? Gosh, you know, I have to say, um, as far as um, being inspired to give back to the community, even before diagnosis and getting involved with the organization New Moms that I'm on the board with and shared their gala last year, um, I will say my my in-laws, especially my father-in-law, he's always been um, just somebody who's inspired me in that way. I've seen so many people in our Aspire network um, with the mission work that they do, um, Kendra and Kristen, Marissa, just to name a few. And I just always am so humbled by the, the effort that people are willing um, to go to do all of this and in, in their vacation time. Um, so I don't know if that's the question you're asking, but um, I, I definitely have so many people around me that inspire me in all different sorts of work that they're doing wherever their passion lies. And I guess, Michelle, that's, that's the end of I guess my final thought is I just want to encourage people to take advantage of the resources, whether it's, you know, I would love it if people were to choose to donate and match for rally, but that they take advantage of all of the funds that are available to support the efforts that they are close to and that they're passionate about. Mm, I was going to say, when you were talking, I was like, oh, that word stands out, passion. I feel like more of us need to start to pay attention to that and kind of follow that intuition that we get in our gut. Yep. Yep. And one of my, one of my favorite phrases is, and this, this doesn't, you know, um, it doesn't mean that I you know, can create things, but I just tell my mentees to speak things into existence. One of my favorite quotes, like say it out loud, believe in it, but you've got to repeat it, write it down and make it happen. And I think that's whether it's your work at Medtronic, your work in a different company or um, what you're doing um, in the community, you know, just say it out loud, believe in it and make it happen. Oh my gosh, I am so on board with that. I think our energy, right? When we show up in our energy and what we believe, then we are able to achieve it. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being here. Um, what are the best ways for folks maybe um, to connect with you professionally? I'm going to guess LinkedIn, but then also for people to, again, kind of just support 
um, Rally, Alexander, kind of just a quick overview, and then we will have the links in the notes also. Okay, perfect. Yeah, absolutely. LinkedIn, I do share updates again because Alexander's a patient of Medtronic, so there's no great, it's all great area. I'll, I'll be sharing updates and um, in the morning, I'll be sharing all the, the links on social media and through his Facebook page, but some people don't use all that. And so alexanderstrong.org, if you're not on Facebook or LinkedIn, if you're not a social media person, um, people get those updates and they you can sign up for um, text messages or email updates through that website also. So Lots of ways we try to want to share his story and his journey. People want to know how he's doing and so want to meet people where they're at. Mm. And so hopefully people are getting ready to get after the challenge because the, it's on. Yes, tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Well, thank you so much. You. Um, and if there's anything that I can do um, to support, I know I was just connected recently with um, uh, a person in Minnesota's son who is, you know, going through um, something similar to Alexander's and I am here to support other colleagues in the same way that I've been supported. So thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Am I right or what? Amazing. The strength and energy Christy has is unmatched. Please do be sure to check out her LinkedIn page and share for all of the information around the Oncothon if you're listening on the release date of February 15th, and for sure, all of the information on the Rally on the Runway, which is happening in April. Okay, friends, it's so nice to be back. Let's meet here again next week, but for now, make it a great day. Take care. Did you know you can take this work to a deeper level with me one-on-one? -on -one? Go to michelleburkcoaching.com and click on Get Started to Begin.